bitch. Oh shit. <laughs> the sun is rising. It's getting colder. It's time for motorcycles, damn it. So what's up? Back on the Dyna, it's back. She's operating at 100% again, which is a lot considering that before she broke down, she was operating at about 60. Left, right. Wow. So I'm leaving about five minutes late and I need gas. So my friends aren't gonna be happy with me. I need me to find me a girl who's sexually attracted to California gas prices. All right, I just totally went past this ticket thingy on the garage and I didn't record it and I'm kind of sad because it was really funny. Okay, well this is my friend Isaiah here in his Jeep and he's a picture always shaking his head at me. Look at him go. Hi. <laughs> he's a picture taker and he wants to take pictures. So I'm here at nine in the morning. Bro, it's cold. Winter is here, dude. Here, dude? It's here, dude. Go straight, no? Go straight, go straight. What are you doing? He said that way. I don't know where you're going. I don't know where you're going. Where are you going? Sure, right here, dude. Right here, dude. Bouncing, bouncing. I'm about to throw a couple thousand. Bouncing. Cause I don't have to. <laughs> Later. Damn, I wasn't recording that whole damn time. I'm hurt. <sighs> Are you ready to go yet? You got that? 180 to 99 to Belmont. They need to it's three roads. Yeah. I didn't grow up here. I was just born here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do wheelies while you're putting your shit away. So I wasn't recording. But uh, long story short, I got some pictures from my friend from high school. He's a cool guy. Go follow his Instagram. I did this already, but well, I, I got my clutch done, my bike's done, and I can do this now. So that's fun. So I just spent the day practicing those. If you haven't seen my last video, I uh, had to take apart my whole outer and inner primary. I'll drop a picture of the progress shot on screen now it was a mission but i got it done i had to replace the shifter peg and then the shaft that the shifter peg actually screwed onto as well as i redid my clutch since i was going in there and uh, i bought a pretty fancy dancy you know little clutch thing with jigger and i can do wheelies now this little twin cam 88 is not to be reckoned with i'll tell you that bucko check this out gear i topped out in third gear so uh that, that that was part of what getting this whole clutch was about i put the same clutch on my 883 sportster woke the bike up and so i figured i wonder if i took that same love and put it into an 88 and as you guys saw i uh i learned a couple of tricks so i'm actually testing a new mic setup i was suggested by gen z biker go ahead and give him a follow and from a collection of his suggestions and some things that i found on youtube i'm testing a new mic setup feedback would be greatly appreciated i've been working on getting this audio set up so i guess this video is just going to be kind of a channel update um i guess i'm going to take this opportunity to talk about what i want to do on this channel so i'll start just with the beginning i started writing senior year of high school my grandfather gave me a 2007 Harley Davidson Sportster as my graduation present I rode around on that and I'll put some pictures on screen um, I spent a couple months you know tinkering getting used to building with that I took that bike to college with me in Arizona I had realized that I needed bigger I, uh, I sold my Sportster and I bought this baby this is a 2006 Harley Davidson Dyna Street Bob with the money I got from the Sportster I turned that around and got the Dyna I got this while I was going to college in Arizona and I didn't have it registered until three months after after the COVID pandemic hit normally it takes a weekend to get a bike registered just keep that in mind I've spent the last four or five six months now building this thing out and this is where we are today but 
that's as far as my writing journey really goes. More about me. I'm 19, I turn 20 next month. Uh, born and raised here in Central California. I want this channel to be showing of the idea that it doesn't matter how old you are or what you like or what you do if you like motorcycles you have the ability to ride yeah i may have a dyna a big bike and there's a lot of kids my age that you know are like oh the big bike's kind of scary i'd kill myself on that well they make bikes for learning purposes the harley davidson sportster the honda everything 300s they, they make things for everybody and there's a bike for you out there and i want to get the world on two wheels but at the same time, I'm kind of also taking inspiration from John Moto Garage. I would love for this channel to become a buying and selling of motorcycles. I bought this bike and I think that I could probably profit more now than I could when I bought it. And I'm thinking about selling this bike, but don't tell anybody. I would love to be able to build and create different motorcycles and then share them all with the world and sell them to you guys and make more motorcycles and just have an ongoing cycle of everything that's my dream say hi to the hooker everybody so yeah leave a like comment subscribe if you like this type of content i'd appreciate all the support you guys can give and checking out and there's my friend it's time for food i almost did a wheelie the sheriff is right there that would have been very bad